All right, what is good? What is going on? This is Vic from the Online Starting Block. I'm going to show you exactly how to add a nice template onto your website. So if you've been following us the whole time, I've been showing you exactly how to start a personal or business website from scratch. Up to this point, I've showed you everything from getting your domain name, getting your hosting, installing WordPress, getting all of the settings for WordPress right, and then getting all the plugins right. And all this is your foundation. Now let's get to the nitty gritty, which is installing, installing your, your templates. templates. This process gonna be very exciting. So let's get right into it. All right, so right here, I'm gonna go to a personalstudy.com. That is the name of the website that we have developed along this series. So this is exactly how the website looks like right now. It's using the Astra theme. Now I wanna log in into WordPress and WordPress is the platform used to update our website. Right after here, it says a personalstudy.com or it's gonna be whatever your website.com and do forward slash wp-admin. For me, it already pulled up because I've done it a few times already. So wp-admin, click enter, and it takes you to the WordPress login screen. So let me log into my account. Yours will be different, a personal study. All right, so I'm in WordPress. This is the back end. And if I go to appearance themes, this is the theme that I have. It's called the Astra theme. In a previous video, I showed you how to install that. So this theme is actually very, very important because we actually need this particular theme to install the templates that we need to install. So to do that, what I want you to do is to go to plugins and add new. And from here, I want you to add this extra plugin. So search and write starter templates. Starter templates. And from here, you'll see starter templates, Elementor, WordPress, and Beaver Builder, has 1 million active installations. So this is starter templates right here. I want you to click install now. So the big thing is that the same people who made the Astra theme is also the same people who made starter templates. So that's why they both seamlessly work together the way that it's going to work. You'll see it in a little bit. So once I installed it, activate the plugin. So activate it. So when you activate the plugin, you're gonna see some new options that's going to come for the first time. And actually it should appear, but I guess it didn't appear. But yeah, it's active. It takes you to the install plugins list and then you can see started templates right here. So what I want you to do is to click on C library. So I think if you do this for the first time, it's gonna take you through some installation steps. All right, cool, so getting started, it has, I guess, the people of the team who basically installed this and whatever. You wanna to go to build your website now. So click this button. All right, so now it's gonna ask you, select your page builder. You want to use Elementor. Elementor is also another plugin and we're gonna use Elementor to do a drag and drop of our theme. You'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit. So you wanna click on Elementor. Now it has all of the templates. If you remember from the very first video, I was showing an example of all of the templates that you can install. So these are the templates right here. Now you can always change this, it's no problem, but I remember saying at the very beginning that my wife was working on a site that is going to show some of the work that she's done. She's a hematologist, which is a blood doctor. So like sickle cell and different blood disorders, that's what she does in her day job and her night job too, because you know, doctors, they don't sleep. For now, let me just choose one. Let me choose something that, that is not a premium theme because you have to pay for those. Although they look better, you got to pay for those, but that's fine. We just need a basic website. So let me find something. All right, I found one. So what I did is at the very top, where it says search for starter templates, or if you scroll down, you'll see the same thing at the top. I typed in clinic. Let's keep things medical since my wife is a doctor. Let me go to dentist clinic. I like this one because it has a sign up form in the first page. So people can ask questions and stuff like that. And I like that. So let me click that. All right, so then it's gonna show you different setup options that you can do with this theme. Not this theme, sorry, with this template. Because a theme is like the underlining design and a template can also go on top of a theme. Different companies call themes and templates different things. In this situation, I'm gonna call this a template. 
All right, so I like this. This is how the demo template looks. Just think of like a demo house. When you walk into a demo house, you'll see everything already pre-installed. But then when you actually get the house, none of the demo stuff is there. So this is like the demo. This looks pretty good, all one page. And some of these things we can take off, like the map. We can take that off if you want. But I like this, it has some many options right here. We don't have to have all that. And then get appointment. I'm assuming that takes us to another page that has this same form. Perfect. So on the left side, you can do different options, but I'm going to skip all that. I'm going to basically set that up later on. So click on skip and continue. You can change your colors to be default colors. So choose whatever you think is best for you like that or like that. I'm probably going to keep the default colors just for now, which is right there. And then you can also change the main font. So the first font right here, Montserrat is the header. And the smaller font is the, the actual text, like the smaller text. So you can do different combinations if you want to do different combinations. And to do that, you would probably like look at these right here and click one of them and see how they look and see if you like those. That looks pretty nice. Uh, that's what that was. Let me see. Looks good. I like this month snow, this popping lato. I like that one. Yeah, let's do this one. The second one right here. So I will choose that one. Click continue. You don't have to choose that one. You can choose any one that you like. All right, then it's going to ask you who you are. This is for the starter templates team to get more information about you. I'm going to skip that. I'm not going to check this. But all these in the bottom right here, I'm going to check that with the exception of probably this one right here. This helps you build a better template. So if you do want your information, and it's not like sensitive information, but it's like information about like how you build your website. If you want that shared with the team that makes these templates, then you can click that and they'll take that data and see where the issues are. But if you don't want that, then just uncheck it. I'm going to check the last option. But the first three, I'm going to keep that there. Submit, build my website. All right, so now it's going to set all this up for you. And what it's doing is that it's actually installing different plugins. So there's a plugin that is Elementor that allows you to actually do your template. There's another plugin that is called WP Forms that allows you to collect information, you know, about your customer. They put their name, your email, you know, the phone number, whatever you want to collect from them. And it is importing different menus, different pages, different posts. And we can come in and delete all that stuff, but I just want to show you how to install everything. So that's what it's doing right now. And it looks like it's about to finish and it is done. So once that is complete, it says, congratulations. It took 52 seconds to build. I guess that's one of the main guys from the team, the Astro team that makes starter templates. So you want to go and click on view your website right here, this link. Click that. And now a personalstudy.com is now this site. So it's literally taking the template that you wanted and it has put everything here. So literally, you now have your website at personalstudy.com. This is how it looks like. Yes, we're going to change a bunch of things. So let me show you one quick thing. So to change the template, if you don't want this template at all, go to your dashboard. So click on your site, go to dashboard. And from here, click X. And then you can click X right here. All right, so if you go to plugins, and install plugins, you actually find that a few plugins got installed. Astro Widgets, that's a new plugin that got installed. Elementor is a plugin that got installed. And WP Forms Lite, that's a plugin that got installed. That allows you to collect the visitor's information. So that's been installed as well. If you want to change your template, this is what you need to do. So you go to plugins, install plugins. And then you go down to where it says start templates, go to C library once again. And then from here, let's say you want to have a new template. Let's quickly, let's do um, this one right here, real estate consultant. So let's do that. So if I was to click on that, and let's say I actually want to use this template instead of the other one. So I go to skip and continue. And then you can do your default colors and font that you want. Let's continue it. And then from here, here's where it's very important. You wanna click on delete previously imported sites. So if you do this, this will actually take away what was previously there. So you can even see the warning right there. 
And then from there, you can import all of the widgets and content. And then if you wanna share non-sensitive data, you can do that. Let me unclick that. Just make sure that this first option, no matter what, is checked. Click on submit and build my website. And what it's going to do from there, it is going to take away all the information that was there previously and then add the new stuff that is there. But the plugins that were installed, I guess Elementor and WP Forms, that's still going to stay. Really just changing the information and the look. All right, that's been updated. It took about a minute to do because it was taking away the old content. That's fine. So if I was to click on video website, this is a personal study now. Now it's changed. This is how the website looks. Right there, that shows you how to do that. And if you wanna take away all of the information and you wanna start from scratch, you wanna go back to your dashboard, go to plugins, installed plugins, go to starter templates, see library. And this is to basically start from the default template that Astra has. So basically what you would do is let us go to any template. Let's choose another random one. Let's click on organic store. Let's choose that one. Go to skip and continue, continue. And then from here, what you would do is you would just uncheck all this with the exception of this one right here, delete previously imported sites. So that'd be the only one that's selected. So if I was to click submit, and build my site. All right, that is done. So from here, if I was to click on view a website one more time, it now took me back to the regular theme, which is the Astra theme, which is our personal study. Although it did add a logo, but I can easily take that logo away. The way to do that is to go to customize right here. If I don't want the logo to be here, I'll go to customize. And then from customize header builder right here and then site title and logo and this logo right here to click on remove now it is gone boom you don't see it anymore click on publish that is what it is now everything is back reset to what it was supposed to be although the font looks a little different but you can always change that by going to let's go back a little bit then go to global go to typography and wait for the typography option to load. Last time I tried this, it took about 30 seconds. So this pops up, just click on wait. The Astro team needs to fix this problem. It used to not be like that. So let's give it a second. So that pop-up keeps coming, click on wait. All right, and finally, where it says um, body, font, family, open sans, just type in inherits right there. And it's gonna look like, look like that. And then the heading font family, you wanna write inherits one more time. And this should take me back to what it used to be. What it used to be? All right, so once that's done, click on publish. And so that is how it takes you back to the regular way and then click on X. And now you have the regular theme. So I just showed you how to have a custom theme and then how to take it back to a regular theme and how to even change your theme. I keep saying theme, but I actually meant templates. I always get mixed up. So this is the Astra theme, but the templates I'm installing is starter templates. I need to get my words right. All right, so now I installed something called cart flows. Um, because I did it so many times, I clicked on skip setup, by the way. So let me actually remove some of these extra plugins that I had. So if you follow exactly what I did, then you have to do this. So go to plugins, install plugins, and let me remove uh, cart flows. So I click that one. And let me also remove this anything else that's out of the ordinary, WooCommerce, let me remove that. And then go to bulk actions and then click on deactivate. Because if I just delete it right now, it actually will not delete. I actually have to deactivate it first. But you can try to delete it and you'll see it won't go away. So click deactivate first and then delete. So go deactivate and then delete. So the two ones right there, and you can see it says activate. That's how you know it's deactivated. That's a clear giveaway. And then I'll click that and I'll go to delete right there. Click apply, say okay. I'm showing you all this just so you can have a good grip on how to make your website. All right, so those are the two plugins that's gone. Let me actually refresh the page. All right, perfect. 
So now the final thing I want to do is let me actually reinstall that template that I had that was called clinic and it will go from there. So let's go to start templates, see library. And the more you do this, the more you get used to it. I know it may feel overwhelming at first, but I always have this rule that the first time you do something, you're going to suck at it. It's like the eighth time, like the eighth, seventh or eighth time that you do it, that you start getting good at it. The big thing is that you don't give up. You just keep going. And then maybe tomorrow, the next day or the next day, when you do it again, you'll be like, oh, okay, this makes sense. And that's how I learn anything new. Even if you use social media, you know, that's how you learn new things. It takes a while for you to get used to it. All right, so on the search, I'm gonna type in clinic. And then from here, I wanna go to, what was it, dentist clinic? That's what I used. So click that and then go to skip and continue. And I kept the default colors. As far as the font, I made it, uh, I think it was this, the poppers, yeah, I like that one. Perfect, click on continue. And then uh, delete previously imported sites, that's fine. And then everything else, keep that checked. I don't wanna share nonsense of the data. Submit and build my website. And it's going to now put the content and everything that I need over there. So I'm basically doing this again. All right, so we're good. Let's click on view your website. My brother keeps coming up every time, <laughs> but uh, let me click the website. All right, a personal study. So this is what we wanted and completely fine, perfect. If I was to click on about, it scrolls down, procedures, scrolls down, reviews, scrolls down, and contact scrolls down. So this looks like a one page website. Click on get appointment and it doesn't go anywhere. So yeah, so it looks like a one page website where it has all the information that you need. And that's fine, you know. You can make this a different page. Like there's about section. I can make this its own page. So really the home page will just have this. And then if I click on about, it'll be the about right here. If I clicked on procedures, I may have this right here be another page. And then testimonials, I'll probably keep this like reviews actually. This is social proof. So I actually would keep this on the home page. You want this on the home page actually. And then contact. You can put this in the very bottom, the whole contact section. So I probably will move this and then here's your footer at the bottom right there. Powered by a personal study, I can change that and I'll show you how to do all of this later on. But I will get into this. This is actually a one page scrolling site. I will get into this and also show you how to get your own logo and get that set up. So if you wanna know how to do all that and customize it the way that you want it, Click this video right here and it will get you right into updating the pages within starter templates using Elementor. You got everything installed. Now let's customize your site.